Sup, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Just uh, bring you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Jan Lakovic and uh, Israel Adesanya, uh, the main event for UFC 259. So the fight ended up going the distance. I uh, went the whole five rounds, and uh, Jan remained the light heavyweight UFC champion, winning this fight by a uh, unanimous decision. All three judges had it in his favor. 4946, 4945, 4945. And um Yeah. Uh I don't know how you could score it 49 45. It turns out oh, why does it keep going that? It turns out that uh two judges scored it 10 8. And I'm not I'm you know, I don't know I'm not, I'm not the biggest MMA guy, but how 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 do you usually score a, a, like a round 10 8 when it comes to you know, mixed martial arts. Like, how, how would you score? I mean, obviously in boxing, you know, 10-8, if somebody scores a knockdown and all that. But how, how would you score that in mixed martial arts? Because, you know, if you knock somebody down, you know, you don't really start counting, right? Like, <laughs> it's a little di it's different compared to boxing. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm just curious to know, like, how, how would you score around 10-8? I mean, maybe if a fighter is really that dominant. But it, in my opinion, there wasn't really that one round where i would say jan was completely dominant yes he won rounds and yes he did win this fight at least in my opinion i think this fight was arguably close no doubt about it in my opinion you know i had it three rounds to two in favor of uh, jan i thought uh, uh you know jan did a good job in those later rounds those last two rounds wrestling i felt like he could he i felt like he, he probably would have won this fight more clearly if he did that like if he wrestled early on but i guess at the same time uh you know Israel was uh, playing it safe and fighting from the dis from a distance, and uh, he obviously didn't want to get into a wrestling match with Jan, comparing considering that Jan's you know much much heavier than he is. I mean, this fight's a definition of why we have why we have uh, weight divisions, weight classes in uh, fight sports, whether it's boxing or MMA. I mean, there's a reason why we have mixed uh, different weight divisions. And uh, in my opinion, uh, Israel just, he can't compete against a bigger guy as talented as, uh, as Jan. So uh, that, that's the reason why he lost. Jan was there exchanging with him in, in the early uh, first few rounds. He was, you know, uh, striking alongside with Israel. Yes, Israel had moments here and there. Uh, the, you know, some of them were close rounds. And the judges ended up leaning towards Jan in those close rounds. And uh, in the end, he won four out of the five rounds and remains a champion light heavyweight champion as you guys can see you know the, uh, the total amount of total strikes throughout the fight 184 compared to 99 by israel you know that's a big difference if you ask me so with this win uh jan improves to 28 and 8 and uh, remains the light heavyweight champion hasn't fought hasn't lost a fight in uh so when's the last time he fought last lost i should say uh taigo santos back in 2019 and first title defense, actually. I completely forgot about that. First title defense and successfully defended for the first time. And uh, as for Israel, suffers his first loss, man. Adesanya suffers his first loss in his uh, pro career. Um, you know, it is what it is. He took on the challenge. He moved up in weight. He, uh, you know, he thought he could uh, compete at this weight. But uh, I, it, it's, it's a big weight difference, I feel like. It really is. I feel like he should go back down to 185 and uh you know compete at that weight um i mean i know 200 plus probably there's big money fights there but but yeah i think he he 185 is probably best the best move for israel adesanya so anyway um you know we'll see what uh, adesanya decides to do i feel like uh 200 plus pounds is just too too big for him too heavy for him or maybe he should move up slowly to to 200 pounds so you know actually get big because you know he was eating a pizza right in the brain like come on man he got cocky towards the end too man i was like dude why you? like he was putting his hands down like acting you know drunk and all that like like come on dude stop he got a little too cocky i feel like i feel like the fight yes was arguably close but at the same time he could have done better in that last round but I oh, don't know. He got a little too cocky for my taste. So, anyway, congrats to you on the win. Sucks for Adesanya, but it happens. 
And if you did see the fight, let me know what did you think about it. Honestly, was this worth 70 something dollars? Uh, if you're a big MMA guy, I guess it was. I mean, considering that uh, you know there's some interesting fights that took place in this card. Um, not bad. You know, it's it's not bad, but yeah, I'm like I said before, I'm more of a boxing guy, and man, seventy dollars. I was I wasn't paying. My brother was paying, uh, or my brother paid, I should say. So, um, he th he said it was worth it. I mean, he said like he said like watching Yan. Jan Lakovic, Yakovic, it's like the equivalent of watching Floyd fight, I guess, for for, for casual fans watching Floyd. <laughs> that's what he's. That's the comparison he gave. Um, so I, I guess to uh, to the MMA purists out there, I guess this was a very technical, good fight by uh, Jan Lakovic, I guess. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.